What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today. Hey, we've got something that I have sent to me like 332 million times in the last week or two. We've got a video that Fox Cricket has actually uploaded themselves. So I believe we're going to be okay, um, you know, due to copyright and all that bullshit because it's just the players sitting there and talking. So I think we're going to be okay with this one. We've got Coley Root, Barba, Cummins, Boomerah, Australia, you know, team, best pick their top five current players in the world of cricket. I haven't watched this video. I haven't barely looked at it. I had it sent in my Discord um, like a week or two ago, and I, I didn't want to look at it because I kind of wanted to react to it, and then I forgot about it. And here we are. So, hey, firstly, if you guys are new, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below your top five players in the world right now. Your top five batsmen, your top five bowlers, and your top five all-rounders slash fielders. Let me, guys, hey, let me know. I'm always reading the comments. Let's get into it. Come on. Best players in the world. Woo! Bro. We got Big Show. Just uh, let me adjust the volume before we get into it. I do not want to see any of the Australian players say Ben Stokes, because if they do... I might have to click off the video, so let's go. Yeah. Come on, Glenn. Are we just talking batters here? That's actually a hard question. Put some subbies on. It's so tough. It is, isn't it? It's a tough question. It's actually a really bloody hard question. Yeah, facts. Um, what about yourself, Glenn? Hey? <laughs> Alright, my top five current Ooh, players. Oh, Steven! Uh, I'm going to start with Virak. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's firstly a great, a great first pick, Steven. And that's not a great pause right there, but look at Steve back in his baggy green, back in the test kit. This makes me happy right Polly, here. Um, Woo! World class player. Facts. All three formats of the game. Yep. Scored a truckload of greatest. runs and uh, yeah, phenomenal player. Mm -hmm. Sort of my all format Scubney. player is going to be Vera Cole. Yep. Okay. Uh, five, I think <laughs> test one Actually, day. I will is, turn I think, them. Encapsulate. 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 Is that a South African word? That that whole play. Yeah. Oh. Steve Smith. Um, Steve Smith. Woo! Um, Steve Smith. Smudgy. Steve Smith. There's probably no argument that he's the best test batter um, of all time, but Ooh. definitely probably in Australia's history in terms of... Yeah, yeah. I mean, Australia's history, him and Ricky Ponting, and obviously Don Bradman, but I mean, like, we we can all be honest, we have all seen the footage of who Don Bradman used to play cricket against, and respectfully, I'm making 700 against those sort of guys, so we, look, we can move on from that discussion, but... Yeah. In Australia's history, yeah. <laughs> the Don. Obviously yeah. has a record that speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Just because of what he did in Townsville and Cairns on horrific batting wickets. <laughs> to have success up there um, in different conditions. Mm. And he got 100 in Sri Lanka. Yeah. In completely different when conditions. When no one else could make runs, yeah. To find a way to be successful. His consistency... Over a long period of time, yes, Gazzy stand, stands alone. Yeah, white ball cricket, Babara's arm. All right, all right, Aaron. Okay, so this must have been before the World Cup actually started because we know what happened with the old man Zimbabwe. Obviously, didn't have an amazing tournament. That's to be honest. But um, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that Barbar isn't you know top five white ball players in the world, but. When he's outside of Asia, I beg to differ because when he's outside of Asia, the bloke can barely score as many as compared when he's playing, you know, teams like Zimbabwe and Bangladesh at home. So, uh, I don't know about that one, Aaron. I think maybe that's why he got removed from captaincy for saying this exactly. Goodness. He, he would be in, <laughs> in probably my top three in I'm just playing. all three formats. I'm playing, everyone. You just feel like you can't get him out sometimes. No matter what you do, he's yeah. got an answer. He's, he's a great player. He's, he's an unbelievable the player. The World Cup says different. What he does at three. Uh, in <laughs> T20 cricket, Man. I think he averages 50. He's, he's just a... He, he's, he's a so special class. player, He's so though. classical, hits the ball where yeah. it needs to go. and Someone who can just dominate a game. That, and, that and is true. Almost feels like... He's got you on a string at, the, at, at all times. Baba, Except at the World Cup. In all three formats of cricket. Virat, for easy. Pakistan, I think he's been absolutely exceptional. Bro, Gary. Probably Barbara's arm. Manus! 
He's pretty what are good. You saying? Like his all format play is is pretty impressive. So as someone who's been ultra consistent for a long period of time in in all three formats, yeah. is hey, hey, and, and and you know what? Maybe I'm not giving as much respect as I should, just because I love to have a joke around, you know, bar bar, and, and you know it's kind of funny. <laughs> but hey, I'm not going to sit here and say he's not one of the great like up and coming batsmen that we've seen in all three formats for the last decade. But when people start to compare him to people like Virat, AB, um, Chris Gale. Like, I've, I've seen people compare him to, to Messi and Ronaldo. <laughs> so, like, we just chill with the comparison, everyone, because, like, Barbar's in his own lane um, of, you know, being amazing without being great overseas. So, he still has plenty to prove, I reckon. His arm. Um, Classy. He is a great player, though. Like, let's not um, sit here and doubt runs that. everywhere and... Everywhere? Yeah, just pretty good. Not in Australia? He's no, he's good. Not in Australia. Joe Root. Um, Alan DeGeneres. Summer over the last... Yeah. Num- oh, he's yeah. cricket over the last... Can't disagree number there. Of summers has been absolutely exceptional. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll go with Joe Root. Yeah. Uh, I think the way he's playing at the moment is sensational. Yeah. Alan DeGeneres like looking fire out there. Card, he's, he's getting 100, so he's, nice. uh, he's playing phenomenal at the moment. Nice, Joseph. I would say Joss Butler. Um, yeah, okay, is, for white ball cricket at least. An extremely exciting player to watch. Mm-hmm, T20 mm-hmm. cricket, he opens the batting and can blast it everywhere. Yeah. 50 over cricket, he tends to bat number around number five yeah. or six. And he's so destructive, he's, he's so hard to bowl to. Um, but he's an absolute must watch. What about Moses on Reeks? The success that he's had Who? in the test. Besto? Oh, Glenn. 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 I don't know what that broken leg did to you and what sort of drugs they're feeding you to mend that pain, but Johnny Bairstow? What? Top five batsman? <laughs> what? Top five player in the world, Johnny Bairstow? Oh, brother. Oh, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. We're going to have to have a talk about this, man. Success that he's hey, had. Hey, Punjab King, King but doesn't last, get him the pass. Last little while has been... Pretty awesome to watch, I think, with the change of captain and coach. Yeah. Might gonna have to play with him in 2015 at Yorkshire and Yorkshire. saw him firsthand how dangerous he can be. And no, he is great. Let's not the lie. White ball formats, but I think more recently the red ball has been pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pat bowlers. Cummins, in terms of bowling, Mr. Cum Man. Um, I put Pat Cummins in the list. Woo. Yeah, Pat Cummins. What about um, yourself, Cameron? Quite clearly the number one in my eyes. Um, obviously seen him for the last two years. The consistency he has um, mm. with all, all three formats, to be fair. Mm. Um, wow. Uh, I guess except for T20 cricket now, because Pat Cummins seems like he is uh, not really figured out the T20 game now. He, he was dominating T20 cricket in the IPL too, and then he had a really bad season for Cole Carter, and then he's had he's had a really average World Cup, and now now he's actually his spot in our T Twenty team is actually quest, questionable. If I I don't know why I couldn't fit the word questionable out of my mouth, but shit, maybe it's time that maybe Camo turns into a two four. I'm not going to be the one to make that change, but hey, we need to see a little bit more, don't we? Has to be up there in the top five. A Freedy Boomer, you know the, the three um, scopes. I'll, I'll, I'll try and include a Rambada. little bit of everything. Um, yeah, winning the World Cup with Australia, um, leading the attack in our test team, yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously captaining as well, so Woo. yeah, that's a nice little bonus. Patrick! Um, the way he bowls, the pressure he builds, the yeah. wickets he takes, um, it's just sensational to go with some pretty handy lower order runs as He's well. He's pretty good looking Josh too. Hazelwood, in my Big eyes, pipes. is the best fast bowler. Yeah, okay. I would have to go with Jasper at Boomer, yeah. purely for his... Boomer. Execution mm-hmm. under pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, new ball, he gets wickets. Old ball, he gets wickets. He's yeah. someone who is exceptional over three formats of the game, which we're blessed in this country to have a, a pace bowling attack who, who is equally as good. But he's mm. he's a superstar. Big in swing, great Yorkers, great slow ball. He's he's got the whole package. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rabada. Yeah, um, Gagiso. Yeah, his record speaks for. A Nordiki as well. I think Nokia um, is the best of all as well. Time. Would be up there. Uh, I think with people who've taken 250 test wickets, so yeah, um, yeah, it's quite a good reason why you'd be in this list. Yeah. I'll put Kagiso Rabada from South Africa. I think yep. he's, um, he's been a world-class good. bowler for a while now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's always at you. He gets in the contests, and he uh, he really enjoys it out yeah. there. Hey, one of my he is definitely one of my all-time favourite bowlers to watch is the big man Kagiso. 
Like, and that South African bowling lineup is only getting better and better every year. Like, now they've added Marco Jansen into that mix. They've got Anrik Nokia. They've got the man Wayne Parnell who can let the ball flow. <laughs> they've got, uh, fuck, what's the other guy's name? Um, oh, brother. I mean, like, they've got great spinners as well. They've got Shamsi. They've got uh, the other dude. So, hey, the South Africa's bowling lineup is young, it's quick. And, yeah, I mean, the man Rabada really does head the front of it, doesn't Two, he? It would be Rashid Khan. I think that he's, I forgot about Rashid. For a long period of time in the big Oh, bash well, and, spinners, um, yeah, if we're including what them. What he does with a, with what a about car Nathan that Lyon? everyone said would Test struggle in T20 cricket. He, he's been unbelievable. Yeah. He brings people through the gates mm-hmm. who engage True. with the fans. And, and he's big just Rashid. brilliant. So he would be not my number two. All-rounders. Oh, shit. Here All we go. All-rounder. Uh, I'm going to go with, like, Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes. <laughs> Why? Why? Honest. <laughs> oh no, lads, 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 fellas, gentlemen, boys. What the living f are we talking about, guys? Come on. Who? Hashtag F Ben Stokes. All round, uh, I'm going to go with, like, Ben Stokes. Look at me in the fucking eyes right now, Mr. Manus Lover Scugney, and tell me you meant that. You didn't. Ben Stokes. Moses ben Henriques. Stokes. Ben Stokes. Oh, fellas. Yeah, fellas. X Factor. Fellas. Um, that's all I need to say about fellas. Stokes. He... Pretty clear in my eyes uh, what he's been doing for the last 10 years. Nope. Um, with bat and ball. Nope. Um, and also captaining as well, so no. that's nice to find us again. God, no. Feels like the responsibility of captain... Uh, hasn't hindered his performance at all. It's probably made it even better. Um, the freedom he plays with it seems pretty regularly gets a breakthrough for England and um, there's almost a barometer for him with energy in the field and um, just provides an amazing spark for that team. You know, someone that can contribute with a bat and the ball is very vital in a team. So I'm going to go with, with him in there as my all-round player. And then I'll put Jadeja. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Oh, Stephen Smith. This is why I fucking love Steve. MF St- <laughs> Steve, you are... This is why Steve Smith is the man. <laughs> Damn, the last thank one. you. Someone said Jadeja. I'm taking Jadeja over fucking Stokes. I don't care. Like, I'm sorry. Yes, Stokes may have won. You know, he's had big moments in cricket, has Stokes, but... Stokes did nothing at the World Cup this year until the final, and then he like had a good final, and everyone was saying, oh, Stokes, he's incredible. He did nothing the entire World Cup until the final. And look, Jadeja has had his injury problems, but he is someone who is never really out of form. Like We seen him at CSK last year when he was given the captaincy. Went a bit left field, but other than that, he has been one of the most consistent, all-round bowler-slash-batsmen in the last decade, and he... In my opinion, I would be taking him over Stokes. Doesn't matter what what conditions I'm playing at. Well, actually, it probably would. If I'm in India, I'd be taking Jadeja. But if I'm... No, no. We're taking Jadeja every single time. A few years. Thank you, Steve. One of the best all-rounders in the world. Thank you, Steve. um, You know, he's a quality player. He's (sighs) he's amazing in the field. Thank you, Steve. Um, He's the full package. So, he's my top five player. Well done, Stephen. Bit of a controversial one. But I think it's, it's more on what this guy... Can potentially Moses on rakes. What I've seen so far in it. Oh, Cam Green? Very, yeah, Glenn Maxwell. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to explain that. Facts. Big Glenny boy. I'm actually He's about 21. I've to play with him over the last couple of series and yeah. watch him go about his work in Sri Lanka. He might might not be currently the best, the fifth best player in the world, but He'll be there I think soon. for what he, what he brings to the team, yeah. his innings against New Zealand mm. under pressure. Yeah, it's quite, yeah. Um, and that first ODI was so special. And, um, hey, and, and, and my favourite Cam Green moments, as the video is technically over now, my favourite Cam Green moment has been, look, he's had some big moments in the Ashes, but that, that T20 series that we played in India just before the World Cup um, this year, where he like was opening, it was a big change. Um, Warner wasn't there for the series and it was Finch and Green opening. Finch looked like he couldn't hit a ball if it was a fucking beach ball. But Cam Green was just standing there and smacked like a quick 65 off 28 or something. And I'm thinking, oh, Cameron. (laughs) Cameron, you've just bought yourself an IPL contract. Well done. So, yeah. 
that, that, that's my favourite Cam Green moment. It should be Alex Carey won us that game and, and, and plus he has the ability to I bowl. I thought he was going to say Alex and, Carey. And do an amazing job for us with the ball. Yeah, true. Um, big, big shout out from so Glenn. I, I think he's a pretty exciting package. Repaid the favour, Max. You're in. You're in. <laughs> well, you're now in his as well. <laughs> hey, shout out to Fox Cricket, firstly, for this video. Secondly, big shout out to the lads. Um, you know, we, we love sort of content like this. Just, you get to see more about the players. You get to see more in their personalities. It's just a bit of a laugh. And, and to see where they're kind of at with who they think the best in the world really is. They're the ones on the field. So they're the people who can really tell us the best. Except for where they brought up Ben Stokes. I didn't know what that was about. That was a bit silly. But um, hey, that is going to cap it off. Comment down. Like I said, comment down your top five batsmen, bowlers, and all-rounders in the world right now. Hey, we're signing off. Original link in the description. See everyone in the next one.